Hi and welcome back to another video of F1 Manager 2022 uh, and today we are getting back straight into race number five, Miami. Difficult but decent last couple of races. We are leading both the drivers and the constructors at the moment. So uh, looking good. Let's see what we can do. We've got a development point for both drivers. The DRS trains that we saw in the last couple of races, really, they weren't quite like that in the first season or two. There was a bit more of a separation between the cars. So I think the cars are more closely matched uh, at this point. We're in season four. So I think we need to focus a little bit maybe on overtaking and defending. Defending is a bit weak for Albon. So let's, let's give that a boost. And Porsche a bit lower on these stats. These could do with uh, improving. So... Let's go for overtaking. One for our head of aerodynamics. Low speed is where we struggle and where the regulation changes are for the next period. So let's go low speed, downforce. Carry on. Design is done on the front wing. New front wing is done. So let's go and make some of those. I do six of those. You do tend to break them a little bit more. Three done in six days. The next race is in seven days. We'll have enough of those, so that's great. Confidence check-in, financial report, not a problem. Car development report. Quite a few more white here, so it's not all red. Um, medium speed, high speed, fourth on the grid. Let's go to the car and put on the new front wing. Big improvement. We're up to 21 million cash. So soon we'll be able to get that wind tunnel. But for now, we will go to the Miami Grand Prix. Let's go. Going to cut out a lot of uh, um, practice. Um, if I've done so the last couple of races, I've kept a fair bit of practice in. I'm going to cut it out this time. Um, if you haven't seen my setups video, I go through... Uh, how I do setups and practice. So check that out if you haven't already. Uh, and I'm going to cut this out unless anything crazy happens. All right, practice is done and we got 100% on both drivers. That's actually every single race so far, driver two has had 100%. Um, and we even managed to get his track acclimatization up to 98%, even though we put uh, Jack Dewan in for FP1 so we got the setup tuned in really quickly and we're just able to send him out on a, on a long run there were no interruptions for him so absolutely great full bonus points for both brilliant we'll move on to qualifying of course we'll change our the parts out uh, as we do for both Make sure that they're getting the best that they can. And yeah, should be uh, should be good qualifying. Radio check. Copy, radio check. Okay, should be green now. Russell gets in the way of Porsche's run, unfortunately. But looking good for Albon. Well, Albon tops Q1. That is the first time I've had that. That's looking good. Move on to Q2. Good clean run for both. Final flying lap, see how that goes. Third and ninth. We do get blocked off there, I think Leclerc got in, got in the way. That's fine. It was the used tyres anyway, which is why we do that. Let's go. There 
There we go, last one's out. Where do we get? Paul. Brilliant. First poll of the series. And that does, in fact, give us a bonus point as well. So that's uh, that's very nice. Uh, bonus point in this season's regulations. It is 2025, after all. Um, and those changes came through. But yeah, that's... Um, that is excellent. Uh, especially given that um, I've had a lot of trouble overtaking at Miami in the past. That will hopefully set us in good stead track position. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Fingers crossed for the race. Let's go. We will try and open up a gap at the beginning uh, of the race to get out of DRS um, range at the front. I'm going to go a little bit push. Do we want to save it or do we want to deploy straight off the bat? We're going to go deploy. Right. I'm actually a little bit nervous, not started on pole before. Let's go. One of the newest races in F1, and hopefully one of the most exciting too. It's the Miami Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. We've got a yellow flag already, what's going on? Looks like there's been a lockup. Okay, just a lock up. Eight tenths, there's one second, 1.2. Let's already bring that down, just aggressive. Let's not push too much, 1.7 at the front. Let's bring this down as well. Don't need to use all our ERS. Looking in a good position. Two and a half second lead. Let's Let's just bring it neutral and see how that does to 2.4 DRS is enabled DRS enabled and we've got two and a half second lead at the front I tend to find they don't seem to lose too much time battling Well, what happened there? Some of these slower corners. 2.6 seconds at the front. Do we get DRS? We do. That's good. 2.7 at the front. But yeah, unlike the other races, we've got some gaps opening up uh, on this. Porsche is right up behind him now. That's excellent. In fact, going for an overtake doesn't make it. That's fine. Just relax. You're fine. Looking good on tyres. Fine. 4.6 seconds at the front. And Porsche, unfortunately, has fallen back. Big crash. DRS disabled safety car. That's a shame. We opened up five seconds there in the lead. I think we're going to have to stay out. Just focus on the hand. That's the contact there. Oh, there's chaos on the track. So, our lead is gone. Um, we will get a few laps again before DRS kicks in, and with any luck, we will get a gap again. Um, no one has pitted. So, 
yes. Let's just put everything there for now and then we are going to go. Let's go for it, Albon. One point two seconds at the front. Let's pop that onto neutral. Two second lead. Let's bring that down. Can continue to push with the fuel. Uh, that's fine. Porsche, what do we do here? Let's use overtake. Two and a half second lead for Albon. And DRS kicks in. We are still in overtake with Porsche. Can he? Oof. Let's push on that one. Let's go a little bit aggressive as well because we are doing well with tyre wear thanks to the safety car. Go on, go on. Okay, nice move. Let's get that back in. Bring that down. And a new position just gained by Williams. Albon three seconds at the at the front. Right. Whoa! <laughs> this game sometimes. Okay. Gasly in better better shape with his tyres. Ours are going to be dropping off soon. Two point eight seconds. Um, Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this game sometimes. Pit options. Let's bring him in. Albon. 33% tyres. Only four seconds to Porsche. Let's not double stack. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's go. You can go. And you can pit this lap instead. To hard Porsche. In he comes. He's going to come out behind those guys. Yeah. Does Porsche catch back up to... Yes, he does. He gets the DRS. It's great. Oh, and he makes a move as well. All right. Okay. Harvest. It's fine. Albon. Comes out in fourth. And there's an overtake from Williams. Only one second to Gasly, though. Unfortunately. That was unfortunate. Hopefully we can get away here. Can we get some DRS and get past this guy? Oh, come on. Oh, that's awful. And that's put us right back in the clutches of the, um, the front guys. That extra point we put in his defence is probably just at the right time, but... Looks like he might lose it here, lose the place. Nope, keeps it. And go seven tenths. Can we get away? Nine, they get DRS. One second. 
And we do get a gap. And Porsche has been doing well. Whilst we've been distracted. Very good. And there's an overtake from Williams. Uh, back to Albon, 1.8 seconds. Let's go standard. To make the tyres last. He is good with his tyres, so hopefully that should be fine. And Verstappen gets back past Porsche. That's fair enough. Red Bull gained a place. Nice move as well. It's got to be the most terrifying corner in the game, that one. It's just every time. Two second lead at the front. And Porsche opens up a gap here. Let's make sure we cement that. Point three and point four. Albon three seconds at the front, one point five. Verstappen, has he crashed? Oh, and that's a crash. Here's the replay. We're just <clears> watching <throat> the Red Bull. It locks up. There's the crash. All right. See if we can harvest a little bit here. Gasly pits again. Bottas. Four seconds. That puts Porsche up into third. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to harvest a little bit here, build up a little bit of VRS, and then maybe push for fastest lap. Let's go back to neutral now. Go full attack. Albon. One lap. He gets fastest lap. There we go. That's good. And seven second lead over Bottas. Can we get Porsche in there, do you think? Three seconds. Oh, he spun. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see the Williams here. Bit of a bump. Keep oh, going. A collision there. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. DRS disabled, what for? There it goes. Car's fine, don't worry. Oh, he's lost a lot of tyre wear. Virtual safety car, what for? Come on. Virtual safety car. Yep, copy. He's oh, taken a lot of life out of his tyre. Out of his tyres. Is that going to ruin it for us? Two and a half second lead. Coffee. Do we want to keep working the size? Yes, we do. This will be the last lap. Oh, we've managed to hold on so far. Last lap, come on. You can do it. He does. Check the flag. First and third. And it's Albon. Done. Alex Albon over the finish line first. Another double podium 
a win from the front of the grid pole position what a pleasure it was to watch Got an achievement there the track. an achievement what does it say hold your porridge or something fastest lap pole um pole as well so we get extra bonus point there very nice very very nice drivers Bottas overtakes Verstappen so he's our main challenger now but a nice nice lead that we have with uh, Porsche moving up into fifth constructors very good result Mercedes overtake Red Bull again still 40 point gap at the front and there we go Miami Grand Prix pole position with a win wasn't straightforward safety cars got spun as well fortunately there was no major damage but a little bit hairy there at the end with the uh, with the tyres so yeah really happy great race please remember hit like hit subscribe um, leave us a comment down below are we going to win the championship this year what are we going to win tell us what you think and yeah thanks for watching